Eight years ago, my dad was deported. Having your family be upended, not knowing what's going to happen to you, losing a, such a big pillar of your life, feeling incomplete and there's a void, that was like the worst thing that could happen to anyone. I would not wish it on the, my worst enemy. I came to the U.S. when I was um, seven years old and all throughout growing up, the time before DACA, um, I was just really scared. DACA is short for the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, which is this victory of the immigrant youth movement. It provides protection from deportation for young people that came into this country at a young age. It allows for people like myself to get a work permit I and mean, to be able to apply for work, get a driver's license, get an ID. DACA beneficiaries are people like me. They are 800,000 undocumented young people that came into the U.S. before the age of 16, that grew up in the U.S. and that are part of our communities. You might know some of us. DACA recipients are teachers, their parents, their nurses. DACA is more than just a program. It's a fancy name for freedom. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton and AGs from nine other states want President Trump to phase out DACA. But Ken Paxton has made it his mission to attack the DACA program and to make sure that it does not exist. So right now we're facing an imminent threat not only to 11 million people that are in threat of deportation, but in addition to that it's 800,000 young people whose lives would be completely upended if DACA were not in place. Trump's agenda is a white nationalist agenda. To limit immigration, to cover it with a mantle of national security and patriotism, and really taint the name of America and what it means to be an immigrant in this country. The reality is, is that getting rid of DACA, it's a life and death issue for us. DACA means family, DACA means home, and for me, DACA means that I can help my mom out. She's currently fighting cancer, and I get to be able to help her get the medicines that she needs and the chemo treatments that she needs to be able to do that. So if you're someone that does not believe that the DACA program should end, that you believe that families belong together, you're a freedom fighter. So the thing that you need to do right now is join us. This is a time to fight back, to reclaim the joy of our communities and reclaim the joy of what it means to come together to fight for something that we really do believe. Fighting for justice!